Beer, a traditional yet elusive drink made from grains. Everyone knows that the science behind beer is beyond human capability. Who or what is responsible for these delicious adult beverages? Today, I'm talking to Jacob Houston, COO and head brewer at Empirical Brewery in Chicago. Perhaps he can answer some of the lingering questions the world has been harboring for years. I'm Stacy Quasar, and this is News at the Speed of Light. Jacob, it is an honor to be interviewing you today. Your achievements in Chicago's brewing industry are many, including becoming Empirical's head brewer less than a year after being hired and COO in less than two. After you led the company in a rebranding in 2018, Empirical won several awards for its revolutionary beers. Truly astounding. Now, Empirical's logo is based off of the ancient hieroglyph that represented the word beer in the cuneiform language. Naturally, my first question for you is, how do your current beer recipes differ from that of the original beer recipes shared with humans by ancient aliens? I think if the, at this point we have established all of the ingredients um, with consistency. Uh, I feel like back in the day they didn't have the consistency and they kind of just used the yeast in the air where they were and now we kind of hone in that yeast and cultivate it ourselves uh, so we can make sure that it's consistent between batches. So intriguing and might I say mystical. Question number two. It takes between two and six months to homebrew a beer before drinking it. Some species, however, may use a brewery hovering 124,000 kilometers above the black hole at the center of our galaxy, where it would actually take five years. Wow, that is a long time. Do you think those extraterrestrials would be patient enough to wait this long for a brewski? I would say yes. Uh, most extraterrestrials or humans like to be patient with their beer, um, assuming that the outcome is going to be extraordinary. A point of view I never would have thought of in all my years of life. Question number three. I understand you employ three cats to protect the premises from small creatures. If an extraterrestrial were to come and give them tasty treats in exchange for a cold one, do you think they would tell you? Uh, how well do you know your feline employees? I know the, the felines around here very well. Um, I take care of them on a daily basis, uh, and I do give them tasty treats when I can, but I think they enjoy these tasty treats better when other people come in. They tend to like that a lot. Now, Jacob, Somewhere out there, there is likely a planet made entirely of beer. If you were to discover that planet, what would you name it and why? Um, I've always been fond of Akronar. Uh It is already one of the brightest stars in the sky, but I don't see why that name couldn't be used uh, for a planet as well. Um, just a huge fan of the name itself. Uh, sounds nerdy, sounds kind of like it's from the Star Wars world, and uh, in general, uh, Planet Made of Beer can't go wrong. <laughs> now you said Akronar? Akronar. Beautiful. Rolls right off the tongue. Jacob, last question. After a long, hard day brewing some delicious suds, you're tired and sleepy, and you're ready to go home. As you go to lock up, a flash of green light stops you in your tracks. Suddenly, you're face to face with a large extraterrestrial. They say to you, Hello, Earthling. I will pay top dollar for a bubbly adult beverage, but due to my anatomy, I need you to feed it to me using an eyedropper through a small hole behind my brain sack. The whole process should take about mm, three days. Do you agree to this strange yet momentous request, or would you rather get home to your coziest blankies, your comfies, and a good book? Well, I think uh, I could kill two birds with one stone and say yes to that, and put one of my subordinates in charge of the feeding while I go home and sit comfortably on my couch. Divisive, and yet terrifying. 
Jacob, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed by me today. The things you have shared with me scare me and entice me at the same time. I cannot say that much in my two to three months of experience. I am so delighted. What? Well, come stop by Empirical Brewery anytime. A lot of fun releases to look forward to in the future, especially our new collaboration that will be coming out in December with the Adler Planetarium. It's gonna be a kettle sour. It's gonna be delicious. Whoa. Come check it out. You heard it here first, folks. Thank you, Jacob. That completes my interview with Jacob Houston of Empirical Brewery. Though he answered many of the oft-asked questions surrounding slops, gatter, and wallop, I find myself needing to know more. A door has been opened to a new set of mysteries that send a chill down my spine. I'm Stacy Quasar, and this has been News at the Speed of Light.